Jesus said in Matthew 7, 17 and 18, Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. The Holy Bible. A tree and its fruit cannot be separated. The fruit is the reflection of the tree and the tree is the projection of the fruit. Having a tree without fruit is possible, but fruit without the tree is impossible. What is a good fruit and an evil fruit? A good fruit is a fruit that is edible and nourishing, but an evil fruit is poisonous to the eater. The thing about the fruit is, it not only reflects what the tree is, but it is that part of the tree which people partake of. So, if we have not been a good fruit inspector, we will end up partaking of the fruit and suffer the consequences of its evilness. One may be able, able to decorate the tree and make it look different from the outside, but none can change the fruit of the tree which is the work of the inside. The false prophets that Jesus referred to, the wolves in sheep's clothing, can only change the outward form to deceive people. But they cannot change the fruit of their lives, which reveals who they really are. We are all compared to trees in the Bible. What kind of tree are we is seen by the fruit we bear. Is it the fruit of the Spirit or the works of the flesh we produce in our lives? As the thorns can only produce thorns and thistles cannot produce grapes but thistles, so an unconverted heart cannot produce the fruit of the Spirit. Let us read again what Jesus said in Matthew 7, 17 and 18. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us to be a good tree that brings forth good fruit by your Spirit unto eternal life. In Jesus' name, Amen. May our fruit be good and not of falsehood. Have a happy day.